welcome all of you to my VVSM Academy, the School of Arts and Science, Gopanhalli. I am Virbhadraya Demaya. On behalf of Gopanhalli Employees Association, serving my village and rural Karnataka. Hello, Guswagata. Kale Matu Vignana Shale Gopanhalli. Nani Dhamak Meshmuga. A School of Arts and Science, a mission with a vision. This is very important. A mission with a vision. Dear students, every day please follow up your studies with the following principles fresh up early in the morning, attend school, say good morning, then log in to my VVSM Academy at 5 p.m. every day, VVSMA, Gopanhalli prayer, revision previous class, today's lessons and log out at 6 o'clock at 6 p.m. Good night. This is the program. I am Virabhadriya Demaya, son of Jidemaya, Gopanhalli. Retired late G. D. Mayanoro, Maestro Pata, Nanu Nam Thunder in the Kalti Du, Adana Nimgela Hedai. I am welcoming you to my class today. Today is the topic is effect of magnetic force, that is, effect of electric force and the magnetic force, the interaction between electricity and magnetism. We are going to do magnetic lines of force intersect each other. This is the question from Karnataka edu uh, uh, Education Board, that is SLC Board. Magnetic field lines originate from a north pole and merge at south pole. As the distance between the poles tends to increase, magnetic line density reduces. Magnetic lines do not intersect with one another. The magnetic line strength is the same throughout and it is proportional to how near the lines are. These are the lines of magnet, that is magnetic lines of force. NS is a bar magnet in which the lines of the, these are called lines of the bar magnet. That is lines of forces of magnet. Magnetism is a class of physical phenomena that are mediated by magnetic fields. Electric currents and magnetic moments of elementary particles give rise to magnetic field which acts on other currents and magnetic moments, my dear friends. This is the bar magnet lines of forces are there in this magnetic lines of force. This is a horseshoe magnet. Uh, whatever may be the magnet, this may this have a south pole and the north pole is very important, my dear friends. Now coming to the right hand thunder. In this uniform magnetic field, the question number 6 states, magnetic field in a given region is uniform, try diagram to represent it. This is the question uh, asked in the board examination. So this is the uniform magnetic field and magnetic, uh, bar magnetic field. So what is the difference between lines of forces of the south pole and the north pole? And here also North Pole and the South Pole, but the lines of forces around the magnet, around the magnet is different, but only from South Pole to North Pole, if the force of attraction and repulsion is there, that is different. That is the technique, that is the wonder of the magnet. Um, wonders of the magnet is there, so many things we have to study in. That's why a uniform magnetic field is a magnetic field that has the same magnitude and di direction. Same magnitude and direction. This is same magnitude and direction. S to N, parallel uh, lines of forces. S to N, this is a special question. Uniform magnetic field is a magnetic field that has the same magnitude and direction throughout the region under the consideration thus the field lines need to both parallel and speed out evenly. Now coming to the important thing is relative motion of the magnet and the coil. You know, there are two important things here. There is a two servant. One, this is the circuit. This is a circuit which is nothing but a copper wire coiled like a spring. It is called, this is a copper wire. This is called coiler loop. This is connected to the galvanometer. Then inside the ring or the coil, if you move uh, forward and backward, the direction of the moment, whether it's forward or backward, whatever it may be, during the forward reaction, deflection occurs in the circuit. That is coiler loop. If you take magnet backward, then also you have 
deflection will uh, occurs deflection will shows forward and backward forward in one direction backward in another direction that shows clearly that a sort of when the lines of forces cuts you will get the electromotive force that's very important during this process forward and backward uh, moment of the uh, magnet bar magnet throw the coil or a do then you will get the net current that is called faraday's laws of uh, faraday law of electromagnetic induction a induced emf is produced during the mechanism this is called electro uh, magnet electromagnetic force or electromagnet unit you can say now it so as the magnet spins the magnetic field around the top and the bottom of the coil constantly the uh, forward and backward direction between the north and south pole this rotational moment of the magnetic field results in the alternating emf very important my dear friends alternating emf that is electromotive force being induced into the coil as defined as faraday's law of electromagnetic induction this is very important point and the faraday law of electromagnetic induction in almost all examinations either in two marks question or four marks question or one mark question which is objective type this is uh, important figure try to remember this figure for your examination point Yes, my dear friends. Direction of induced current is bar magnet moves through the coil. Current induced in coil. This is the forward direction. Then this is also forward direction. Now coming to the backward coil moves fast fixed bar magnet. Current induced in the coil. This is the bar magnet station the inside. When the bar magnet is inside the coil stationary, there is no deflection. Only the deflection.